we feel that it is extremely inaccurate and that it's very important that Nebraskans get true, accurate Nebraska figures. When Creighton University economist Ernie Goss stood at a podium flanked by the financial figures, he discovered the anti-death penalty group who asked for the study showed pleasure with the results. And I'm convinced. It's, it's an in-depth study. It's um, based on models from other states. It's looking at costs that are in some ways specific to Nebraska. State Senator Kate so Bowles' point is Nebraska Attorney General Doug Peterson's that. argument. And the author of the report recognized that he did not specifically go look for Nebraska numbers, but rather utilized these various studies. And that's just simply not accurately stating our situation in Nebraska. While Peterson says the $14.6 million price tag is way off, he wouldn't provide his own less expensive figure. We simply can't sit down and watch this number be used over and over as being a cost figure when we know it does not accurately reflect what goes on in Nebraska. Peterson says convicts will file appeals with or without the death penalty, keeping court costs relatively the same. Bowles argues the millions add up when you consider the high number of appeals condemned prisoners can file. These numbers add up when you multiply the costs of the trials, the appeals, and the housing. The only adding that really matters will be the number of votes on November 8th. You will get a chance to either reinstate the death penalty or support its recent repeal. Back to you, Julie.